Picture this. It's the early 1950s. The black and white glow of your television set casting a warm, inviting aura across your living room. You sink into the cozy embrace of your armchair, and with bated breath, you await the magic of the small screen. And then, it happens. A vivacious redhead, with a heart full of laughter and mischief, bursts onto your TV screen, setting your world ablaze with hilarity. Yes, my friends, I'm talking about the iconic 1951 TV series, I Love Lucy. For many, that first encounter with Lucy Ricardo and her zany antics was like a spark that ignited a lifelong love affair with television. The show, with its rib-tickling humor and unforgettable characters, has etched itself into the annals of entertainment history. Lucy's timeless charm, Ricky's musical prowess, Ethel's unwavering friendship, and Fred's perpetual grumbling, they all played their part in weaving the unforgettable tapestry of I Love Lucy. But did you know that behind the laughter and the tears of joy, there are some fascinating facts that add depth to the show's legacy? As we delve into the realm of random facts about I Love Lucy, y'all discover surprising tidbits about its creation, its impact on society, and how it broke new ground in the world of television. So, grab a seat, my fellow Lucy enthusiasts, as we embark on this journey to uncover the hidden gems of this beloved classic. It's time to relive those precious moments and maybe even discover a few you never knew about. Let's celebrate the magic of I Love Lucy like never before. I Love Lucy, a groundbreaking television series that premiered in 1951, is an enduring icon in the realm of American television. Created by the talented Lucille Ball and Daisy Arnaz, the show not only marked the birth of the sitcom genre but also shattered conventions with its innovative approach. The series revolves around Lucy Ricardo, played by Lucille Ball, and her husband Ricky Ricardo, portrayed by Daisy Arnaz, a Cuban bandleader. Lucy's relentless pursuit of stardom and her comical mishaps often lead to chaos, with Ricky and their friends Ethel and Fred Mertz caught in the whirlwind. The show's hallmark was its use of a live studio audience, a rarity at the time, which added an element of energy and spontaneity. Its inventive physical comedy and slapstick humor remained timeless, while the chemistry between Ball and Arnaz made them one of the most beloved couples on TV. I Love Lucy became a cultural phenomenon, breaking viewership records and paving the way for sitcoms as we know them today. Its impact on popular culture endures, with catchphrases like Lucy, you've got some splainin' to do, still echoing in the lexicon of comedy. This classic series left an indelible mark on television history, showcasing the power of humor and the enduring appeal of its iconic characters, all while revolutionizing the medium itself. In the 1951 TV series I Love Lucy, Lucille Ball took a stand against potential racist ridicule. She established a rule that only Lucy, her character, could poke fun at her husband Ricky's Cuban heritage, including his accent and occasional garbled English. No other character on the show was allowed to mock him for his cultural background. As for the Ricardo's address, it was stated as 623 68th Street. However, a little geography check reveals that East 68th Street in Manhattan only goes up to 600. This intriguing fact means that the Ricardo's building was humorously situated in the middle of the East River. William Frawley, known as Fred Mertz on the show, had a well-known battle with alcoholism. At the start of the series, he was advised to stay sober or face termination. If you pay close attention to the show, y'all notice that a majority of his scenes depict his character with his hands deep in his pockets. This cleverly concealed his hands to prevent any visible trembling caused by alcoholic withdrawals. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the commitment of the cast and creators to make I Love Lucy a groundbreaking show. It's a testament to Lucille Ball's vision for the show, the clever address choice, and William Frawley's determination to overcome personal challenges while delivering memorable performances. Lucille Ball decided to go ahead with the series I Love Lucy after having a dream in which Carol Lombard, a close friend, suggested she give television a shot and leave radio. The show lasted for six seasons despite the fact that William Frawley and Vivian Vance, who played Fred and Ethel Mertz, didn't like each other in real life. On-screen affection was staged, and the main reason they stuck around was the cash bonus from signing CBS contracts. Notably, the frequent use of back doors in the Ricardos and Mertz's apartments was a common feature in older Los Angeles buildings, not typical of New York ones. 
The unlikely friendship of William Frawley and Daisy Arnaz on I Love Lucy when I Love Lucy hit the airwaves in 1951. It became an instant classic. But not everything behind the scenes was smooth sailing. One of the show's casting choices, William Frawley, raised eyebrows among CBS executives due to his reputation as an alcoholic troublemaker. Yet, what followed was an unexpected twist in the show's history. Daisy Arnaz, who played Ricky Ricardo, had a stern conversation with Frawley upon his hiring. He made it clear that if Frawley showed up to work drunk or missed work for any reason other than genuine illness more than once, he'd be written out of the show. Surprisingly, Frawley never showed up impaired and often memorized his lines faster than the rest of the cast. What's even more surprising is that Frawley and Arnaz not only worked well together on set but also became close friends, a friendship that endured long after the show ended. This unlikely bond between the two actors added a layer of depth to the show's success. Despite the initial reservations, I Love Lucy proved that sometimes, even the most unexpected pairings can create TV magic. In 1951, the iconic TV series I Love Lucy captured the hearts of millions. One common misconception is that little Ricky was Lucille Ball and Daisy Arnaz's real-life child. However, he wasn't. Richard Keith, who portrayed little Ricky, wasn't their son in reality. But Daisy Arnaz held a special fondness for him, likely because of an uncanny resemblance. Notably, Richard Keith began drumming at the tender age of three. Another interesting tidbit is the distinctive laugh of Daisy Arnaz. Sometimes, his infectious laugh can be heard in the show's laugh track. This happened when he couldn't control his amusement and chuckled quickly after taking a deep breath. Surprisingly, before Lucille Ball, Vivian Vance took home an Emmy for her performance on the show. This achievement showcases Vance's talent and the dynamic cast that made I Love Lucy a beloved classic. The show, with its humor and memorable characters, continues to be cherished by audiences worldwide, proving that the charm of I Love Lucy remains timeless. As we bid adieu to this journey through the enchanting world of I Love Lucy, I invite you to pause and reflect on the indelible mark this iconic 1951 TV series has left on your heart and mine. The timeless humor, the unwavering bond between Lucy and Ricky, and the quirky escapades of Ethel and Fred have woven a tapestry of laughter and nostalgia for generations. Think back to those moments when you found yourself chuckling at Lucy's wild antics or marveling at the unbreakable love shared by the Ricardos. Recall the uproarious mishaps that unfolded at the Tropicana Club were the heartfelt lessons learned amid the zany chaos of daily life. I Love Lucy transcended mere entertainment. It became a cherished companion, a source of comfort, and a repository of laughter that knows no age or era. Now, it's your turn to share. Whether it's a favorite scene, a treasured quote, or a personal connection you've formed with the show, we'd love to hear from you. Your memories and thoughts are the threads that continue to weave the enduring legacy of I Love Lucy. So, take a moment to type away and let your voice join the chorus of admiration for this classic series. Thank you for allowing us to embark on this nostalgic journey with you, and for sharing your passion for I Love Lucy. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Warmest regards.